Howdy and welcome to the Cape. It's great to have you back. I'm Mark and you're watching Blue Street Customs. Okay guys, ready to do some more? I know I am. Okay, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna uh, start putting in these windows. And these ones up here. I have a little sh shack piece that's gonna go on. That's gonna go right about there. Then we're gonna uh, start putting on some more of these corner pieces this these corner pieces so we're gonna get that going so we'll grab some glue here and I'm just gonna run some glue inside of these windows just using tacky glue these in and make sure that they're flush on the inside like that give us your depth it's good to me Next one. I'm going to do this one up too. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> now if you're wondering what this hole is for, that's where my gear drive is going to come out for the water wheel. Okay, now we got those. This is the gear drive. This here will sit right down in here. I've got it the wrong way. Turn that around. That'll get it glued in just like that. And we'll stick out the end. And then my water wheel will be on that right here. That's that's for. But as I do the siding, I'll have to make sure to keep that hole open. Okay. Let's glue on. This thing. Now, if you haven't seen how I've gotten to this part yet, you should go check it out. I'll put the links in the description. To part one and part two. Now, to catch you all up to speed on what I'm doing here. these they're just uh, <clears throat> five mil square balsa wood this is what I'm going to use to trim these out now I do have to make an angle on them to match the angle of the roof just like that now we need another one another one that's going to go right here Stuff cuts so nice, so easily. Like a glove. Look at that. Right at the top. Now we'll mark the bottom, cut it to length. And that one's right. Water. Yeah, 
I also got to make one that's going to go on the top here. What I want is one, I need this angle, and I need this angle. I'm going to cut the uh, roof line angle first. here and up and down beside the door so do I want to somewhat replicate that if I do that one I believe was yeah, just above the top of the wall so I do the same thing and be right about there side and we can glue them on. Well, actually we'll heat them up a bit first and then we'll glue them on. And right on the edge, mark our angle. And what I'm doing to mark the angle, putting it flush on the bottom. And I'm just gonna come right through here. Mark the angle. There we go. Okay, let's get this out of the way for a moment. Eh, I'm gonna grab some sandpaper. So we're just gonna kind of roughly, you don't want to sand too much away. If you want the corners, or I want the corners just a little bit rounded. Like they've been there for a while, things have rubbed up against them, animals, whichever. Take like the edge or whichever heavy in a couple spots and this stuff sends so easy that it makes it look like it's I don't know if you can see that get some indents make it look like the wood has worked and you could probably do this with anything very careful with a knife I just find with balsa wood it's easy to to sand and make it look like it's been there for a while and weathered and beat those up and I'll be right back. Now that I've got them all done here, we're going to move them all on. decided yet if I'm going to put any on here. I probably will just to trim it out the same as the rest of the building. So I'll figure that out when I get to it. And the same for this piece, which I think I will do. Yeah, <clears throat> now that we have that done, I'm going to start working on siding. Now, you already know how I do this. If you haven't uh, 
seen how I do it or how I prep them, go check out the first two videos for the water wheel sawho sawmill. That will show you what I do to get all these ready. Make sure to check that out first. Now for those of you that are just joining, quick rundown on what I do. These are just popsicle for um, coffee stir sticks that I get from <clears throat> my local dollar store. Cheap, easy to work with. Just sand off the rough edge, the cut mark. Measure out. I'm just using side cutters. Cut them. A little bit of 100 grit sandpaper just to uh, smooth it off. Just like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to finish off the rest of this. I'll be right back to show you. Okay, right, we got that side done. <clears throat> Doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Now, what I'll we'll do is I'm going to start on this side here. Get this all done up. Again, same process. Mark out the length. Turn it up. And the quick sand here. Beat across. And that's it. We're just going to keep building up. When I get that done, I'll show you. Okay, I'm back again. Well, I got this all done. Now, I have decided to do something here. I wasn't sure what I was going to do on this. Okay. I think if I do this type of siding, it's going to look just too much and kind of blend in too much. So, Kind of like the other corners, I'm going to put the same type of corner on. But what I did was I cut a groove into it. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I cut a groove in it. The way I did that is <clears throat> on my knife, I backed it right off and kind of measured the depth. I locked it in place, ran down the center, on both sides, using the metal guard as a guide. That's all I did. So I did both of those. Now, this one over here and this one's on this side. So that groove is going to sit right in the corner. So it's not going to stick out as much as these ones. Okay. Reason being, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, my sticks here. And I'm going to put them on like this. All right. This is just showing an example here. I'm going to put them on like that with a bit of a gap. Then I'm going to come along over top of that. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Put them on like that, a little bit of a gap. And now it'll look like a vertical board sighting. Can't remember the exact name of this. If I come up with it, I'll let you know. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have it like that. So of course, it's corners sit on there. Now they're going to sit up high enough to kind of match the rest of it. So that's what I'm going to do. You know, this corner here, I went and really beat it up. Just for the fact that I'm thinking realism here. Water wheel, there's water coming down it. Maybe it's thrown a bunch of stones at it. 
I'm going to look at maybe possibly cracking or breaking out a couple of the windows, window panes on this too. Over here. Just for that same reason. Maybe a couple rocks flung into it. So that's what we're going to do. So I already got these ready. So I'm going to put them on. Yeah, pretty much just like the rest of it. Take one, mark it off. Now this here though, just because I don't know how wide this is going to end up or anything else. I'm just going to try and dry fit them all first. Kind of looks good just like that. Now I'm going to fine tune these after. I'm just trying to figure out what spacing I need, what it's going to look like, if it's even going to work. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. So what I'm thinking <clears throat> is that this piece of the building, the lookout for the water wheel, may have been built at a different time. So, as time goes on, different designs are made. Maybe it was built at the same time, you just wanted it to look different. Well, give me a few minutes. I'll see what else I can think of here. Not sure if I quite like that. Looks too solid. So give me a few minutes, I'll figure something out. Okay. Right, hey. Well, this side is all done. So, as you can see, my little out shed is done. And what I did with that was I decided to take my coffee sticks, cut them in half, okay? Then what I did is I put the flat ones down and then the half cut ones on its edge in between that's what I ended up coming up with I think it looks pretty good top is done my porthole for the uh, gear drive so that's what we've got today so next episode we're gonna do this side then all the siding will be done on the bottom half of the building I'm also going to show you how I made my aluminum roof tiles, my roof tin. These will end up on here, like so, on all the roof. So I'll show you how I made these. From this. So if you want to see that make sure you uh, hit like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you can see this video. So until then we'll talk to you later.